because in some countries they have overthrows every week, multiple times every year. Look at Tunisia, three different presidents in 48 hours. America has been special, and I love it, and we are such a blessed nation, and there's still so much good left here, but we've got to protect it. We've got to breathe life back into it. We've got to rediscover it. Now, I want to move quick here, because I've got some huge news on the attack on free speech. Now it ties into the U.S. and Israeli government. Huge news today, so get your pens and paper ready. Uh, but just briefly, so I don't run out of time, uh, Lofner's photos reportedly include G-string and gun. Uh, the night before he did all this, he got film um, processed of himself at a, a motel, dr basically dressed as a woman uh, in a G-string uh, with the gun. So what did I say last Sunday? Just off watching that Grim Reaper video of him and reading some of his writings, I said he thinks he's a woman, he's got multiple personalities, he's into devil worship and taking hallucinogens. The next day, the voodoo shrine came out. Days later, the drugs, the hallucinogens, every day came out. Look, I'm not that smart, but when you actually start studying history and criminology and get into knowledge, I don't know who's playing in the football games tonight, and I don't care. But I do know about the Supreme Court. I do know about criminology. I do know about stocks and bonds. I do know about gold. I do know about science. I'm into general knowledge. And let me tell you, my life is on fire. The globalists want you dumbed down and uninformed so they can feed on you. They count on that. You're just as smart as I am. Or smarter. Start valuing freedom. So uh, talk about a hoax blowing up. I told you it was a hoax less than 24 hours in last week. And now you'll learn it was a complete hoax. If you, if, you, if you had to call him anything, it was a liberal. long hair, drug legalization type guy. Not saying that's bad. I'm for decriminalization. Because that cuts off money to the drug dealers. Uh, I'm a libertarian. But, you know, he, he was in love with uh, Giffords, as I predicted, and uh, was obsessed with her, as I predicted. And he was a complete schizophrenic. So, but they're still trying to demonize free speech. And they're still trying to use it to go after our free speech. And they're setting up the Homeland Security takeover of the web, the cybersecurity. They want the fairness doctrine, which is totally unfair, to shut down political uh, editorializing or, quote, opinion. And, you know, they're putting up face scanning cameras in the town where I live. I can't say it's Big Brother and I'm against it. And why don't you use it to arrest the illegal aliens? That would be editorializing. I, I could just say face scanning cameras have gone up. Uh, that's not freedom uh, in this country. But here's the big news, and Kurt Nemo wrote this story today. Uh, it is up on Infowars.com, and this story is just, 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 I have no words to describe how big this is. It's in the featured news section, second story down, under China says the end of the dollar is near. Wall Street Journal, AFP. Uh, confirms Stuxnet was false flag launched by Israel and U.S. And it has my video there uh, from September, four months ago. Headline, Stuxnet false flag launched for web takeover. Of course, I announced that two days into it. About a month in, they admitted it was the Israelis and the U.S. that did it. And now the New York Times officially admits, official, and, and in, Listen to me carefully. If you're a neocon listener and love war, this is not about Iran. In fact, I don't like attacking Iran, but if it stops the globalists from starting World War III, I am almost pleased by it. Because this Hillary's out saying we backed them off two years with this Stuxnet, and so now we don't have to attack. I don't believe that. It's all a fraud. They're not building nukes. The weapons inspectors have been in there. But, but regardless of what the truth is, good, let's not have World War III. There's always criminals in society. There's always corrupt corporations. There's always bad people who want power and wealth and control. And if you don't have checks and balances there to block them, they will take over. It's a mathematical law of human activity. So get this article. I mean, this is big news. I mean, do you agree with me out there, listeners? This is big news. They now admit in the New York Times, an interview with U.S. intelligence heads, that our government with Israel launched this Stuxnet against Iran. They're proud of it, while at the same time saying, give up your web freedom because the enemy launched a Stuxnet. I mean, th th this is insane.
and I read the Cybersecurity Act, the whole thing is to shut down freedom of speech. The whole thing is to track you and your family. The whole thing is about wiretapping you illegally. The whole thing is about using the web as a worldwide wiretap, as a control net as a grid to track and even predict all human activity as a virtual crystal ball, which I told you about years ago, now Google admits they've got almost near complete crystal ball, future predictive powers on groups of human uh, interactions and movements. Second hour coming up, but our government in Israel behind the Stuxnet and they brag, they don't care, they think you're that cowardly that you'll lay down and take it. Visit Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.